Good morning guys, it's the last week of school. It's actually Tuesday. I was gonna vlog yesterday and I forgot my camera at home, but I'm gonna show you guys just everything that I do throughout the week to make it just fun for my students. Um, it's really bittersweet. I'm also in the middle of moving and packing my classroom and it's gonna be a lot of change for me, but I'm super excited for this week. I I'm starting to get emotional um, because it'll be my last um, week in this school and my last week with my kids so um, but yeah it's gonna be super fun so I hope that you guys enjoy this video so I made this little countdown um, for summer um, I made this yesterday and I forgot to pop the um, first balloon but we're gonna pop each balloon as the day goes on or as the week goes on but we only go to school Monday through Thursday so that's why there's only four balloons but yeah I can't wait all right so it is lunchtime and I just wanted to catch you guys up on what we've done so far so we are doing theme days today is hawaiian day tomorrow is it's pajama day um and i'm also giving them some lemonade after um like right before our second recess and um we're gonna do this after we draw on um the sidewalk with chalk so that's gonna be super fun and as they draw on the sidewalk i'm gonna make bubbles for them so i bought this little machine it was only like three dollars at the store and it makes huge bubbles, um, so I can't wait for that. We also did, did this Oreo challenge where they put a, an Oreo on their forehead and then they try to get it from their forehead to their mouth but without using their hands. It's a great challenge and I've done this for the past two years in my classroom. Um, I couldn't do it last year because of COVID, so, but I've done this for the past two years and it is so fun, um, so I can't wait to do it again. I think the end of the year is always so hard, like the last week because kids are so crazy and wild, wild and they know that they're about to have summer break so um, that's why I wanted to make it fun and just incorporate more brain breaks and things like that for them um, they've honestly deserved it they worked so hard and they've learned so much I love this group of kids I mean I think I say that every time but um, I really have gotten super close to this group of kids and I think because of COVID since my classroom was smaller I was able to just um, get closer to them because it was a much smaller class than I'm used to um, but yeah I wanted to show you guys this this little ball here we named it Billy Bolly I believe and uh, we've been using this for like a brain break as well so uh, we tried to keep it in the air um, and it is so fun so if it lands on the floor then that person is out but we're we tried to hit it as many times as possible without it touching the, the ground I also gathered up my kids in a circle and I asked them um, what their favorite part of this school year was or their favorite memory and that was super fun um, but yeah, that's just some ideas that you guys can do in your own classroom. It's super simple and super fun. And it also goes with our theme of like, you know, the Hawaiian or beach day. So I like that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat. My lunch is right here. I need to eat super fast because it's already past. Oh my gosh, I only have like 15 minutes to eat. Um, that's because I've been talking to you and I've been setting some things up so I'll talk to you guys later but it is so fun so far I really do love this week I think we're gonna have a lot of fun on Thursday we're gonna do field day so I can't wait for that because usually I get to compete against my students and that's super fun you guys one of my students gave me this bracelet and I love it so much it's beautiful oh my gosh look at how pretty I'm gonna wear it all week. All right guys, so little update on how today is going. It's been really fun. Um, we just got back from, um, well, not too long ago, we got back from recess and before that we were doing the chalk drawing um, as well as the bubbles and the lemonade. Um, one thing I'm like reflecting right now, one thing I would have done different is um, I would have had them drink their lemonade here because it was windy and some of them threw their lemonade and made a mess so and then their cups were going everywhere so i'm like okay you need to stack them and yeah so that's one thing i would do different but other than that it worked out really good um the bubbles were hard because it was windy but uh let me show you guys i can't remember if i showed you guys but here is the little bubble maker it was only 2.99 and that was pretty cool um i'm glad that we got to do bubbles even though it didn't work out as well because um or as well as i thought it would because of the wind but um yeah so it's been super fun i did want to share with you guys this letter that i just got from a fifth grader so i had her two years ago almost three years ago which is crazy and um she's so cute she said it was actually totally unexpected she came to my room and dropped this off and it says, Dear Miss Baca, I appreciate what you did, uh, what you did and taught me in third grade. Your class was probably the funnest. Oh. One thing I think about is how when I write 
an and symbol i write it like a plus sign because that's how you wrote it i liked how um you were always nice to me and did a lot of fun stuff so i just wanted to say thank you oh that was so sweet i was not expecting that expecting that i think that's like one of the best feelings ever is receiving a letter from like an older student because you realize like that you made an impact in their lives and that to me is my goal as a teacher to just impact the future generations and just um be a good teacher for them i guess so that made me uh smile really big anyway now i'm gonna go ahead and continue packing my classroom i am doing a separate video for this so you guys will see this on my next video but um this is what i have so far and i've been pretty good at it but i have a ton of packing to do like look at my classroom it's a huge mess so i need to get going I'm just chilling. I honestly am exhausted today after today. Um, it was just a wild day, so I'm just chilling. Um, I didn't get to vlog a whole lot in my classroom, so I'm sorry. I was a little late for uh, my morning meeting, and then that just like set me off for the rest of the day. Like it's so weird how that happens, but um, I just wanted to catch you guys up on the fun activities that we did today. So the first thing that we did it was the drop egg drop challenge and that was so fun i just saw my kids just be so creative and it was like just amazing to see like um the i guess their approach to like protecting their little egg before we dropped it and unfortunately none of the eggs survived they all cracked which is okay i mean i was expecting it to happen and also they're third graders so um i knew that like their their uh plan to protect it wasn't going to be as elaborate as like a middle schooler i don't know i've never done this before with third graders or actually at all so i was still really fascinated by um the way my students worked with it then the next thing that we did is we had a movie day so um we watched bridge to terabithia because that was one of our um read out loud books and so we got to watch the movie now and that was really fun I wasn't really expecting to watch a movie, but my kids, oh my gosh, I seriously tried to make this day or like this week as normal as possible and then I realized yesterday at the end of the day, the day they are already checked out. They are already on summer mode, so I was like, okay, let's just watch a movie tomorrow. And then we had pajama day, of course, so that was really fun. And then, let's see, we also had summer birthdays. Um, that was also really fun and I'm glad that we got to celebrate those kids whose birthdays are in the summer because I feel like... Um, that would suck as a kid to like never have your birthday celebrated at school um, because your birthday is in the summer. So yeah, we did that and then we did awards nominations because I do class superlatives at the end of the um, year on Thursdays. So tomorrow I'm going to do this award ceremony where I'm going to um, just nominate or just, I guess, um, elect like most likely to be president, most likely to win the lottery, best smile, best hair, um, things like that because i think it's like super fun and i've done that ever since my first year of teaching and that works so well like i seriously love doing that i did it through canva last year because it was like or sorry it was like virtual but this year i had the templates the templates still from canva so i'm just reusing them and i'm just like changing things around obviously like the name and the picture and stuff like that and yeah so i'll show you guys how i did that like i'll give you guys like a little recap on what those are gonna look like and then other than that let's see we also did compliments for um each other so like we wrote everyone compliments and then put them in like brown paper bags and then i'm gonna include those compliments tomorrow for the um award ceremony so yeah that's what we did and i'm excited because tomorrow's the last day i'm definitely gonna have to be wearing waterproof mascara because i just know i'm gonna cry this happens to me all the time like i just cry so much the last day of school just because 
I realized, wow, like I'm not gonna have these kids anymore. I'm probably not gonna see some of them like ever again and it's just it just breaks my heart because we get so close to them and um yeah i'm i just had so much fun with them this year and i hope that they just take a lot from me um we learned a lot and i'm just so proud of them seriously like kids are so like sponges and like just seeing them learn and seeing them get it like it's just the best feeling in the world and so that's why i love being a teacher <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys up tomorrow on um, like just what happens what goes on tomorrow's field day so that should be fun um right now i am gonna um get ready for dinner with a friend and then i'm gonna head to the store because i need to buy a couple of gifts for some of the staff that i just got really close to and then i'm just really gonna miss so i'm gonna do that and i will see you guys in the morning all right guys so it's the last day of school i brought my waterproof mascara i'm so sad my kids are um right now in exploratory and after that we are going to do our uh slideshow our awards ceremony and then we're going to do uh, market day so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that looks like i'm so sad i'm getting i'm starting to get emotional because i only have um about an hour or so with my students and then they're gone forever here is what the market day looks like so i'm going to have my students just get out all of the money that they have saved from the school year fake money of course <laughs> And um, this is from our classroom economy, and then I'm just gonna sell all these things. Hopefully they all go. If not, I'll raffle them at the end. Um, of course, I had to um, include the Mexican candy because my students love Mexican candy, so um, it's gonna be cool. And I got these fidget toys from um, Amazon, so I can link those down below for you guys. Um, this is part of their gift. I actually forgot the other half. So I'm super sad. I am gonna work tomorrow though, so I think um, I'm gonna have some students pick up their gift if they would like, <laughs> it's optional, but hopefully they do come because I'm so sad. Um, I had this whole like gift put together for them and then I just ended up forgetting. But So I wanted to show you guys really quick as well what I did for the parents. So usually I have them come into the classroom and watch the um, class slideshow um, with just like a bunch of pictures and videos um, that I just, compiled throughout the year and this time I couldn't because of COVID so I decided to share um, this QR code with them and I um, just sent one of these home to all of my parents so what they can do is they can go on their phone and then they can scan the QR code then it, it'll take them on YouTube I just put it as an unlisted video and actually this video takes you straight to one of my personal videos i was just showing you guys an example but it should be really cool because it's an enlisted video so only the parents and i can see it which is really awesome and i hope that they enjoy it and then here's an example of a classroom superlative award that i'm going to be awarding best attitude and most likely to become a video game designer obviously he's here's a kid in the name but i didn't want to show you and then here's another one best class leader and best uh, and biggest bookworm and then i wrote the compliments that the students wrote for each kid here so should be really fun and just like that they are all gone <laughs> oh guys i'm a big ball of emotions right now this is hard i'm not only saying goodbye to my kids who i got super close to but also this school which has been so awesome to me and oh it was so sad just saying bye to them and just to everyone that i might not see for a really long time or ever so um yeah <laughs> Oh, I hate this part about teaching. It's seriously the hardest part ever, but I'm just so grateful for another year and I'm so grateful that despite COVID, this year was, you know, for the most part normal for me. And I know that wasn't the case with a lot of teachers. So if that, if you're not on that same boat, um, I really feel you and I feel bad for you and I hope you were able to finish strong. Here's Emmy. She's always asking me for snacks. <laughs> Emmy, how was your last me. week? Was, Tell them. It was good. It hasn't hit me yet. Actually, it kind of did, but um, it was good. Her graduation was awesome. Yeah, her little graduated yesterday, <laughs> so that was And I got cute. a fifty-dollar pink. Oh my gosh! Dang, girl. Or Victoria's Secret. I think. Dang, that's awesome. I also got some gifts um so i actually wanted to open them in front of you guys really quick um they're super cute i was not expecting this at all so let's see the first one. Oh my gosh how cute yes wow. Wait, and this that's one what's on my tattoo you okay. are a difference maker the influence of a good teacher can never be erased 
teach, lead, inspire. Wow, I love this. I you love always that. stand taller when you kneel to help a child. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And then the next thing, grace for today, mini devotions. Oh, this is perfect. I cannot wait to do this in my classroom in the mornings. Love it. And then a card from one of my students. And the last thing, oh, look at these bracelets. So pretty. Oh, that's so thoughtful. And then the last one is this. Do you want to help me open it? So that we can get out of here. Oh. Ooh, yes. Ooh. Look at this. I love tumblers. Ooh. Wait, do they change colors? Oh, yeah, Sun-kissed. They, they do. Those are like the pretty similar to the ones we have, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Wait, what is this? A gift card, I think? Oh. Oh, I love the packaging. What is that? Aww, Starbucks! <laughs> yes! Oh, I love this. That's so awesome. Good morning, guys. So it is Friday, and I wanted to show you really quick my um, student gifts because I, um, as you know, I forgot them yesterday. So hopefully they come and pick them up. I did deliver some of them already, um, or some of the kids that left early, I was able to give them to. But... Um, here's what I have. So I have the bubbles and then I got these from um, these little tags from Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm going to try to link them down below because they're very handy. These pack of bubbles I got for like, I got six packs or six um, bubbles in a pack for like four dollars. So it was a really good deal. And then these little cups I got from Walmart and then some of the things in there I also got from Walmart and the Dollar Tree. So the, it comes with a poem. And the cool thing about these cups is that they change colors. They were only a dollar each, so not that bad. And then I um, made them a poem. So it's a summer survival kit, Smarties, to remind you how smart you are to me, Tootsie Roll, to help you roll into next year, Hershey Kisses, to show you how much I care about you, Marker, to remind you to have a good, or sorry, to leave a good mark when, wherever you go, Bubble Gum, to remind you to stick with it and never give up, and Balloon, to remind you to reach for the sky. Have a great summer. Love, Miss Baca. So um, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the cups. And, and yeah, hopefully they come and get them because if they don't, I'm just going to have to leave them for the next teacher or something because I can't just take them with me. So hopefully they come and get them. And here is my room now. All empty. We are ready to go. There's Emmy. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so sad. I'm not going to see this room anymore. I had a lot of good memories in this room.